so this is our setup here we've got uh, one two three four nails in the tree let's zoom in on one each nail brings up the uh, amperage that's going out of the tree it doesn't increase the voltage the voltage more or less stays the same regardless of how many taps you have and it doesn't seem to be too critical as to how high you have them up but the higher you have them up it seems the less potential you have the, and this seems to be in the nominal uh, area now here we have the key element we've got capacitors we've got one two three four six. five six of them six six capacitors hooked up 1000 uf 1000 microfarads i guess uf um, us micro six volts dc yes electrolytic uh looks like i got them zoomed in okay so and then we got them hooked up to the uh meter which right. is and when we first put them on, they were reading almost like zero, and they finally got up, got up to about 0.6 volts. So they're charged up to 0.6 volts, and in theory, if we put them in series, we'll start getting multiples of the 0.6 volts. Okay, can you turn that to What's that siren? Is that the uh, energy police? <laughs> I think they're trying to shut us down. Now, this is then hooked up to the uh, shovel here. The shovel is the ground, which is pretty convenient. There. And uh, obviously, we, if we had a better ground, it would be better. But this is this is working. So, so this is not optimized yet. This is not optimized either. Probably are the uh, you want to switch that to a microfarad? To a, if, we, if we do, it'll burn amps? out. It'll drain all the. Oh, it will. Current. Okay, we don't want to do that. All right. So okay. you want to you want to stop? You want to stop? Yeah, you like that? Yeah. So now we have a new setup here. We're charging. How many? Three, six, nine, looks like uh, 13 maybe. 13 1,000 uh, UF electrolytic capacitors. Now here I just use simple metal clips to clip them together. And it's only using one lead to the tree. And how long has it been? We're up, we're up to about 0.2 volts. Right, one lead and then one lead away. Let me zoom out. So here's the setup. And that goes to the shovel, one lead, and I have the uh, power meter in between. Okay. All right. Do we have a time? How long has it been? Well, we can just charge it and start over again. Well, we can just do it from one-tenth. Well, we got to know how long it takes to get one-tenth. Okay. Well, let's start there. So how do we discharge it? Hold on. The fantastic thing is, we're not just lighting up the night. I'm curious about the power of green, about the power of trees. Trees to Voltree Circuitry Science Kit. We measure the voltage of trees, the power and potential we have inside them. I'm gonna win. I'm powerful. I'm curious about.
about the power of green, about the power of trees. So I used circuitry to explore. I was ready! It's gorgeous! I win! Let's log it! Power, it's electric. The fantastic thing is, we're not just lighting up the night. A portion of all sales go to Vulture's new project that will use tree power to help prevent forest fires. We even use tree power to detect tree diseases, bugs, and maybe even predict earthquakes. After all, it's all one. That's a light bulb. An idea we won't let fade. It's all in the spirit of citizen science which means we all help to take care of the world we share. <laughs> That's brilliant.